Dr. Angela Horner is the world's leading expert in ferret locomotion. Ferrets are really neat. It's almost as though you have an animal in liquid form. They have a really well-adapted body design to move rapidly through a tunnel and change direction quickly. And it has to be small enough to enter a tunnel, but large and powerful enough to overpower something when it encounters that in the tunnel. This unique body shape is crucial for an animal that spends 90% of its time underground. But being subterranean makes studying ferrets hard. This Perspex tunnel will allow Angela to see how their bodies transform as they enter a burrow. So what I'm looking at here is a special setup designed to let me see what's happening during the transition from above ground conditions to below ground conditions. We haven't really seen yet how this is happening from the animal's perspective, so that I'm really excited to try this out. By filming the ferret in slow motion, Angela can see exactly what the ferret is doing. When they're moving around above ground, they have an arched back posture. And as they enter a tunnel, they seamlessly lower that posture in their back until their spine is stretched out. This flexibility in their spine is due to a unique set of back vertebrae. In other animals, protrusions known as processes on each segment of the spine stop it from moving too far. In ferrets, these processes are thinner, creating flexibility and movement. So their spine can stretch out when they go underground, making their body 30% longer. This footage shows how easily the ferrets can transition from above to below ground. But these animals are predators, so what impact does this manoeuvre have on the ferret's speed? The black and white card helps Angela determine how fast the ferrets are travelling across a set distance. When the footage is lined up, it reveals something completely unexpected. The ferret barely loses any speed at all when running underground. Their shorter than average limbs allow them to still be able to move very well and they aren't restricted in the limb movement in that position. In most carnivores, the legs and body are about the same length. But in burrowing mustelids like the ferret, their legs are only half the length of their body. This means they can run in enclosed spaces without tripping over their own limbs. Their limbs have to become more crouched to get into that position, but they can manage it just fine. In fact, they do it so well that they barely decrease speed when they're making that transition from above ground to underground, and that's incredible. The ability to shift so seamlessly between these environments is just one of the remarkable ways that mustelids have refined their agility to catch prey. <laughs>